Okay, g'day and welcome to Supreme Commander Forged Alliance. I'm uh, going to be commenting on a game in the ladder here between Taco and Aaron versus Ants and Boomy um, for the White versus Grey 2v2 tourney. Uh, over here we have Ants going Aeon and Boomy going Cybron versus Aaron going Aeon. Interesting, Aeon versus Aeon. And do we have, no, UEF versus Cybron, UEF for Taco. So, this is a new map to me, so I'm going to be looking at it as if I was playing it. Uh, we've got clumps of reclaim sort of in the middle there, and uh, a few rocks there that are probably worth picking off. Um, there's a couple of routes that way and that way and then around there and then of course you've got the opportunities for air raids. Um, it's a possibility for building a um, building naval factories and having a sort of short naval engagement here. Um, if I was UEF, I'd probably be tempted to go for the um, um, the missile, the cruiser um, from the missile platform, or um, Aeon to go with the uh, Salem's to walk on the land. Um, first scout out for um, who is that? Aaron. Thank you. Um, so he's getting a bit of a look look around to see um, what these people are up to. Um, getting a lot of power online here um, and starting to get some assistance. So what are we going to see from Ants there? Boomy's onto his second factory already, but his first factory isn't really producing very much there. Um, Taco has got uh, engineers out reclaiming, um, but looks like he's um, building things and he's already heading his commander off up around here. There's some UEF buildings there um, to take and that's probably a good op option. He's got a, a cheeky lab and scout to catch, capture that inevitable uh, engineer, which is a good plan. Um, Aaron is heading off as well. Um, and Aaron's got a bomber out, um, pick, probably picking off engineers. Um, looks like those two are going to make it. Good one. But he's got no air defense at the moment, so he's just going to have to keep on dodging them around uh, if he's really lucky. No, it looks like... Um, Aaron has abandoned that and sent that up to um, attack Boomy. Um, has he? He's got a scout there, so the bomber will find some engineers there as well. Are uh, Aaron and Boomy, um, sorry, uh, Ants and Boomy, telling each other about those? Um, yep, got the three engineers in one and. Looks like he even got a fourth. Don't know quite how he did that, but um, so by the time um, Ant's got a thistle online to get that, uh, keep that um, away, he's been able to. Um, yeah, and that's interesting. The uh, that um, mech marine must have missed that engineer completely. So a pretty good expansion here for Aaron and Taco. Uh, Taco has already got a, a Tech 2 mass extractor and um, he's going for... Uh, going to see if he can pick up off that thistle. It's almost done. Can he get another run by? Yes, he's got it. Um, so that's going to be a bit hard to get rid of. Uh, and he's only built one, so um, I think he's... Uh, Aaron's topping up Taco's mass. Um, how's Aaron going? He's probably needing um, more power. Looks like he's probably heavily power, power stalled. Let's just find out. 
going on there. No, he's just got that up online, but he's got plenty of mass and he's probably having prob problems getting rid of it all. Um, so he's got, uh, Aaron's got his uh, commander over to take those um, corner mixes. Got a factory going down here. Um, Taco is being backed up by um, the com by some troops here with his commander um, defending that, and we've got a uh, we're starting to get some aurora play going on here. Um, the mech marine has uh, ended up parked there for no good reason, um, and looks like Ants has changed his mind on that. Um, that naval factory and he's recycling it. What's he going to do there? So let's find out. Got some more scouts for ants. Sorry, for Aaron out. And we've already got some auroras starting to pick off um, the um, the mass extractors. They he probably he doesn't have any scouts inbound, so he uh, he's probably limited by the woeful vision on the auroras, they're just going to be cannon, cannon fodder. Um, Aaron's got got um, hoovering up that mass. Taco probably needs to get in there and do that. And what's Broomy and Ants's plan here? What are they going for? Well, he's going to build a point defence here, which is a very interesting play, probably to try and pick off any auroras that come through this side. Um, it's going to be... it's not a particularly good plan, because auroras will outrange that just. Um, but based on economy at the moment, I would say Aaron and Taco are well ahead. They're, the um, Ants and Boomy are struggling a bit there. Uh, and we're beginning to see a uh, bit of a, an army backed up by the commander sent in. Um, got more su um, support on the way. And Ants and Boomy really aren't sending very much out of their own. The Ants has got a bomber online to take off, take out some, some things. Um, but, um, and... Ants has sent his commander in. Um, this could be bad. Can um, can Ants lay down a bit of fire on Aaron and force him to um, take out uh, so to stop that T2 upgrade? Uh, the T2 upgrade is going to give him a fair bit of um, uh, extra health, so it'd be a bad idea if he has to do that. That commander should definitely be able to take out those, the rest of those um, mantis there. Um, yep, and Aaron is keeping on going. Um, he's, uh, his commander's sent out to try and um, take out that uh, horde of army there while the rest of his um, uh, units are sent in to take to try and um, take out. Of course, they've got no scouting and no radar, so that's um, going to be a problem. Um, and even then, we still haven't actually taken out that <laughs> that cheeky lab. There it is, just waiting, waiting to do something. Com Taco's commander laying down a good bit of fire here and. Getting a good bit of uh, probably getting a good bit of veterancy. He's already got uh, one vet. Um, no, not one vet. Just 14 kills at the moment. Um, and Aaron has completed his T2, and he's going just for a T1 point defence. But he's going to be able to throw them down much much quicker. And Ants is having really going to have a struggle trying to pull back from there. Uh, he's also got a bomber on his li online there, and he's well. He was just down into the red. Um, is he going to be able to pull back enough? He's down into the red again. The um, auroras being able to hit him um, without, w where he's still not in range. Um, getting back into the range of his um, air turrets and. Um, 
but he's uh, still very low on health there. He really needs some more in reinforcements um, to um, stop the the tide of units and the commander uh, now heading inbound on that position. Um, and uh, actually, that's that is of course that's um, Aaron's commander. Sorry, Aaron's engineer, not. Um, not answers, so this is going to be uh, very interesting. wonder where that's going to go. Bit of a standoff here with a uh, point defence being laid down and a factory for more um, more units at the front line. Um, Taco is assisting that to um, try and pick up what's probably a good reclaim field being formed there. Uh, and we've got uh, a couple of engineers out to do some more reclaim there. Um, got a Oblivion now uh, on the front line. Uh, it's going to be um, trying to get some bombs down. Uh, can um, Aaron get the, f the um, T2 flak up in time? That's going to be a very big question. But yeah, uh, Aaron is really making inroads there on um, uh, on Ants. Ants is still in range. He's recovered a bit of health, but he's going to have to continue backing up. And he really just doesn't have the units of presence there. Uh, he did try to dislodge Aaron there, uh, but he's now in line, in range of those uh, wonderful, wonderful fervors, uh, and he's going to have a real problem if they start targeting him and getting um, too much uh, damage done. He's got overcharge, so that's good, and he's probably going to be able to get rid of other stuff. Uh, and we've got the gateway past here, picking off that land factory as well. Um, Aaron is just going to keep on pushing in there. He's going to get another eruptor down. He's just going to do the point, the PD creep. Um, he's we've got Oblivion's going down here for Aaron. He's got the uh, Tech Two as well. Sorry, for Ants, uh, who's got Tech Two as well. Um, he's probably going to get that Oblivion up and running. Meanwhile, we've got a pitched battle here got more uh, factories and we've got the Zephyr upgrade going down. Uh, if um, Taco can hold that line and uh, stop his commander being pushed back then it's really going to be hard to dislodge and he's got a triad online there as well. Aurora's back here making a complete hash of um, Ants' ba base. They've got down to um, PD war, but unfortunately that um, that oblivion has just targeted the um, the seeker the fervor on the back side of that little hill there. That's just going to make life difficult for everyone. Uh, Ants is now going to be really running out of power and mass. He's got the mass extractors up here that he's going for. Um, but he's just not getting any support for from um, Boomi here. Boomi is trying to keep things at bay. Uh, he has his own naval factory producing, yes, a Salem. As I thought, that could really be a game, game changer. If that can walk up onto the land here, that's going to be really, really devastating. Uh, and unless they get a lot of... Um, bombers or something like that out. Ooh, a mercy snipe. I just caught the end of it. Um, really, it's going to be really hard to... Uh, and yet, um, Aaron is just well in range with those um, Oblivion turrets there. He's not feeling any need to leave. Boomy is getting the hell out of there and Boomy's just going to be decimated there. Really... If he can regroup there, then good luck to him, but I think it's going to be a very hard task. And Aaron, with all the mass there to go for, um, can Boomy save him? We've got the 
point defense here now really causing problems for for uh, Boomy. Anything he sends it now is just going to get wasted by that um, uh, that point defense and um, Taco is just going to ha not have any problems at all keeping that PD creep going as well. So it's looking pretty bad for Aaron and Boomy. I'm just going to go up to plus one. Sorry, Ants and Boomy. Yeah, going to go up to plus one to see how this all plays out. We've got units, we've got bombers targeting ants, who's down to 1600, um, and units coming inbound for him. He's going to find it very difficult to get anything done there. We've got Boomy ha with more and more problems on his front door. He's going for that tech two. Yep, he's uh, the, that bomber has got him. Um, that uh, commander's still upgrading. Can he get it done in time and get out of there? It's going to be very difficult. He's got lots of units surrounding him now, and they're all in range. It's going to be very difficult to get out of there, um, and anything left behind is just going to be obliterated. There's that magnificent bomber. come in to, um, to even the score and uh, we've got the rest of the units sent up Ar Boomy with nowhere to go more and more units on his doorstep he's got pillars to fend off it's just looking bad here he's got that sail amount look at that and it's actually doing stuff uh, but I don't think they're gonna he's gonna rescue that commander really love that sail and play uh, but there's just too much inbound now, and Boomy, yep, gets shot. So, good game, well played to Aaron and uh, Taco. I think they did a pretty good job of immediately pushing out into those corners to try and uh, capture that land. Uh, the possibility of getting around them. Um, coming in, especially with um, ants here as an Aeon, sending in um, extra um, extra auroras to try and pick off things in that base. Um, but that bomber play, um, keeping his engineers pinned down there, uh, and just not having enough air defence to keep that at, that at bay was uh, pretty crucial as well. So good game to Aaron and Taco, and uh, see you in the next game.